Now, because the mem member asked whether the minister would remove those schools from that negative, what was described as a negative list, and the minister has said no. Uh, question number seven, Mike Saban. Uh, through you, Mr Speaker, to the Minister for Social Development. How is the government supporting communities to make a difference for New Zealand's most vulnerable children? Mr. Mr. Speaker, Mr Speaker, the government's white paper for vulnerable children addresses how all New Zealanders can play their part to better protect our most vulnerable children from abuse and neglect. Quite frankly, Mr Speaker, the focus and resources that are going on to maltreated children is unprecedented in New Zealand. Mike Sub supplementary to the Minister, Mr Speaker, how will the children's team pilots in Whangarei make changes to the way professionals work with one another. Yeah. Uh, Mr Speaker, it will look different than the one that we've announced in Rotorua, and I think that that's significant. So where government works towards the common assessment framework, where it looks at the compliance that we put around it and how we put the right resources in, it's actually not a franchise that we're putting out there. It looks different in different communities. And they are actually, well, it's not one. It's you want to use your ears, because um, I deal in the facts. And the fact is that it will be quite different. Point of order, Jim. Point of order, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Peters. Now, Mr Speaker, that, member, that minister is so close to you, but she can't offend you by telling you to use your ears. The That's not acceptable here. The member is correct that yeah. she shouldn't ask the Speaker to use his ears. Uh, so, uh, uh, Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm sorry about that. Um, uh, <laughs> Mr Speaker, so what we're doing in Whangarei is you will see a common assessment framework. However, what you will not see is it looking exactly the same as other children's teams that have been set up. What we've got to acknowledge is the strength that is on the ground, the way we can get agencies working together, and the resources and the attention that is going on to those children that are most at risk of abuse and neglect. Mike Saban. Supplementary to the uh, Minister, Mr Speaker, how are local leaders responding to the government's white paper proposals? Well, Paul Mr Bennett. Speaker, um, the government have held more than 30 public meetings now over the last six weeks since we put out the white paper, and I myself have headed about 10 of them. So we literally have got thousands of New Zealanders that are coming out to hear this work um, and to see what's happening and to question how they can play a part in that. Yesterday I met with iwi and community leaders in Kaikoi, um, and to say that they were rather forward in what their, um, what their opinions were and what we could be doing um, would be an understatement. But the um, bottom line is, is that it's the attention that's going on those children and then recognising that actually um, the biggest change will come from the ground up. Question, no, I beg your pardon, supplementary question, supplementary Jacinda Ardern. The minister, can the Minister assure the House that no community organisations who work to support vulnerable children have had their funding cut under her watch. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Oh, Mr Speaker, absolutely not. Um, we are going to put money where it matters most. We're going to hold people to account where they've been misusing money. We are going to take them to task when we know that it can be done better. So unlike the previous government that liked to close their eyes, pretend everything was OK and just throw more funding at it, we're going to hold them to account and make sure it's getting the kids that need it most. Question number eight, Ian Lees Galloway. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Defence and asks, has he read all the Defence Force reports regarding the accident involving an RNZAF Iroquois on Anzac Day?